This is my 2020 Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road. I picked it up four days ago. I haven't really taken it out anywhere. It's got, I think, 200 miles on the odometer right now. But let me just show you guys around. So up front, we have the upgraded LED headlights. This, uh, this is the DRL. It also functions as the turn signal and it, it's sequential, it's slightly sequential. You can tell really easily on camera, but it's hard to see in person. With the LED headlights come LED fog lights. This grill is new for 2020. And just like all the Tacoma since 2018, this has the adaptive radar cruise control and just Toyota safety sense with pedestrian detection. Let's move on to the side. It has the standard TRD off-road uh, 16 inch rims. I think the tire is a 265 millimeter width tire. So another nice thing about these tires is that if you look closely, this lug nut is different from the rest and that's because you can't remove this without a special tool that Toyota included in the glove box. Right here. I guess uh, these tires aren't going to get stolen now. That's nice. It has the Predator tube steps, which were an added option. All right, let's move on to the back of the truck now. So these tail lights are new for 2020. The older ones didn't have the clear plastic. I think the top part was red. And then that's the reverse light, so it was clear. Uh, this truck has the technology package, which you can tell by those parking sensors. Uh, the technology package also includes a wireless charger on the inside and blind spot monitoring sensors. This thing right there. The tailgate is soft opening, which is nice so you don't slam the tailgate every time you open it. It doesn't need a spray and bed liner because it's a composite bed. Some other nice things are it includes an outlet in the bed. A nice little 400 watt outlet. And there's storage right here. It's kind of small and not watertight, so I'm not too sure what you'd put in there. For 2020, Toyota removed the larger storage on the other side. There's also spots for the bed lights. There's, there's a bed light up there, but if you want more, there's uh, spots for it and it's pre-wired, which is nice. There's the included railing and that's about it for the bed. So one thing I noticed is that the fuel cap, or this door doesn't lock, so it's really easy to access the fuel. It's not really an issue for me because I don't live in an area where people are stealing fuel, but maybe that's an issue for some people. The TRD off-road package also includes these arches, which uh, it makes it easier when you're going off-roading if you, like it prevents scratch, it doesn't scratch up the paint. Uh, we already talked about the tube steps, so let's move on to the inside. So coming to the interior, nothing spectacular, but uh, we'll just talk about what's in here. So this touchscreen is eight inches and it's new for 2020. It has the Entune 3.0, which is uh, Toyota's updated system. Uh, so it looks a little bit different, but if you're familiar with the old version, it's pretty similar. So moving down from the infotainment system, this car does not have the premium package, but if it did, it would have a little panel right here, which will show you your AC temperature and um, other climate control information. And if you have the premium package, you'll also get automatic climate control and dual zone climate control. But since this doesn't have that package, we just have manual controls, no actual temperature gauge. It's just like the old fashioned uh, dial. I thought that was pretty cool. If you look closely, the recirculate button has a truck it's not a car or a sedan like other vehicles would have it's a truck uh, which is nice because this is a truck moving down below that we have actually i want to talk about this knob this is your four wheel drive selection knob you have your four high four low and then if you want to lock the diff it's at the top we'll show you that later this is your heated side mirrors I don't think the rear glass heats up. There's no, I don't see any coils on it. So moving down below uh, the AC panel, we have the blind spot monitoring on off button, which comes with the tech package. 
you have your ECT power button, which uh, I've heard is pretty useless. And these are your parking sensors, which is also a part of the technology package. This slides the rear window, which is nice, it's not manual. Um, and then this is your USB port for CarPlay and Android Auto, which is also new for 2020. Um, if you notice, they actually got rid of the aux port, which the 2019 had. And this is also a part of the tech package. It is uh, the wireless charger. You have your little 12 volt outlet there, which is nice. So one thing I noticed when I first got in here was how the uh, gear shifter is kind of a reach for the driver. It's kind of far, but I think that's because they retain the manual handbrake, which I like. So right behind the gear shifter, there are two cup holders. This might not be a cup holder because it's a square, um, but there's another two in front of the gear shifter, some more standard cup holders. And there's another one in the passenger side door, only meant for bottled or capped bottles. And there's a similar sized cup holder in the driver's side door. And that is about it for the front. One thing I forgot to mention were the, the materials that are in here. Um, it's all hard touch plastic, but I don't think that's, it's a truck. So I feel like it's just easier to clean and it doesn't look bad, so it's fine. And also like this material is, I don't know what, it's like a vinyl, I think. Um, it's also very durable, which is nice for a truck. There's also some leather on the shifter and the handbrake, which is nice. This is still soft touch, so it's, it's a nice place to rest your arm when you're driving. And that's about it for the front now. So because this is the TRD off-road version of the Tacoma, we have some off-road goodies up here. Um, this is your diff lock if you ever get stuck. This is multi-terrain select. The multi-terrain system button will adjust the traction controls to best to meet the surface that you're driving over and this is your crawl control button which only works in four low and you can set your crawl speed it's basically a cruise control for off-roading okay so to use multi-terrain select you have to be in four low which is indicated by the orange four low light and this also disables your traction control your stability control and the toyota safety sense which is what all those lights are telling you now you have to press the MTS button, which activates multi-terrain select, and then you use your crawl control dial to change the mode. So this is loose rock, and then you have your mud and sand. That's your rock and dirt, and just rock. So those are the multi-terrain select modes. And pressing the MTS button again will deactivate multi-terrain select. So I'm 5'9 and I have this driver's seat set to where I, my, my natural driving position. And sitting behind myself, I have a good amount of legroom. My knees are obviously not touching the seat back. And I do have space like under the seat for my feet to go, which is nice. Uh, it's not too cramped in here. And there's two cup holders no usb charging ports and no heated seats or anything no vents so it's pretty basic back here door materials are again hard plastics but this part is kind of soft and it's that vinyl material again and the door uh, cup holders it looks like there's two on this side and there's another two on the other side the windows back here are not one touch auto they're just you, you have to press and hold the window down when the window button down if you want the window to go down all the way it's pretty basic back here but this truck has something that the other mid-sized trucks don't and that is storage under the seats um, if you lift this up that reveals a little storage uh, bin right here I don't know you can put your toe straps in there or your tie downs if you need them uh, that's probably about all you can put in there though, but it's still a nice place to put your tie downs or toe straps and have them hidden away So the seat back also goes down and That reveals some more storage back here and you have a grocery bag holder right there 
Now, if you want the seat to fold down completely, you can take the headrest off, which is not too hard. You just have to hold the two buttons and then it'll slide right out. And you have the option of putting it in here. So the headrests are supposed to fit in here, but as you can tell, the holes are actually too small to fit the legs in, which is funny because in every other YouTube video I've seen, they'd say the headrests go in here, but no one actually managed to put them in. Um, this is probably why, because they don't actually belong there. But it will fold flat, and it has a nice plastic back so you don't tear the cloth. Like if it was like this, you'd tear, tear up the seats if, uh, you have something sharp back here, but it's nice that they're plastic and you can do the same thing with the other side. Let me show you guys. So putting this seat bottom up will reveal another storage area, which is where your jack is stored. And I think this is the tool that will remove, that will drop your spare tire for you. But um, take this headrest off. This seat also holds down. That was really hard to unlatch, but it folds down. And there is more storage back here and you do have another grocery bag hanger. So if you want it to fold flat completely, you do have to remove both headrests. And it should theoretically fold down. And now you have a nice flat area to just haul stuff if you don't have enough space back there or if you want if you don't want to put something in your bed, you can put it here. Let me show you guys the tonneau cover that we got, which is a Toyota Trifold tonneau cover. We'll put that on really quick and show you guys. So this is the tonneau cover all folded up and it's extremely heavy. Like, I guess I can lift it, but it's really, it's really heavy. It would be nice to have a set of hands helping out. So we'll be putting this on the truck now just to show you guys and all you need is just this one bolt, I guess. So yeah, we'll get that on. We'll, uh, we'll record a little time lapse to show you guys how to get it on. This is our first time putting it on. So if we run into anything, we'll let you guys know. So what we just experienced there was that it didn't, uh, it latched in, but when we put the second part of the trifold down it wouldn't latch in the second part so we just had to it was a little crooked slanted that's why it didn't so we just had to unlatch it and then try to line it and try again so let's see if it latches this time yep. there you heard that click so that's a good sign and this should work now because two of them had already latched. Now all that's left to do is screw this in. So the only thing holding this whole cover on is this one bolt. So let's put it on. Check if it lines up. And if it does, you're good to go. Just uh, drop this in, hand tighten it a little bit, and then get a 12 millimeter ratchet. So that seems tight enough. Um, so yeah, that's how you put the tonneau cover on. But the nice thing about this tonneau cover is that if you lock your tailgate, it uh, makes the contents of your bed inaccessible unless you unlock your tailgate. And to open it, there's a latch right here. You just tug on that and lift up. And you just repeat the process if you want to open it like one more. Uh, partition so that's the end of the walk around but um, we are gonna be plastic dipping these letters uh, we just don't have the plastic dip today so we'll continue this video another day but you'll see it right away all right so as you can tell by the masked off tailgate where we're gonna be using this to black out the Tacoma and the V6. Uh, these are pretty much, I think these are gonna be the only badges I'm gonna do today. There's two more on either side, but uh, I'll leave those for another day. Let's get started. I'll start with, with the V6. It's a little bit smaller, less scary. All right, I think it's ready. So let's get our first coat on. 
All right, so now that the plastic, the V6 badge is done, well, we got a, we got the first coat on there. We need to wait five minutes before putting the next coat on. So we're gonna get started on the Tacoma. I think we're gonna do probably four coats. And then we also have a gloss coat that we're gonna be putting on it. All right, so we're done putting the clear coat on. It's dry to the touch, so we can start peeling off the excess. So we're gonna get start doing that. All right, so we have finished peeling off all the excess and I think it looks really great. Oh yeah, one thing you guys, if you guys do do this, if you go back and watch the video, we left a lot of space between the newspaper and the letters and that just made it really hard to peel off. So make sure you don't leave that much space between your letter and your masking. Uh, it'll just make it easier at the end when you're peeling everything off. Uh, but other than that, it looks it still turned out pretty nice. At the end, we had to use a little bit of soapy water and a microfiber cloth to wipe off all the excess plastic dip, but that wasn't too bad either. Okay, so if you made it this far, you've reached the end of the video. Um, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you have a friend that's thinking about plastic dipping their emblems, share this video with them. If you have any future video ideas or anything with this truck, just uh, comment down below. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.